hello my friends welcome to this video in this tutorial I show I will show you how to use the Ajax the jQuery Ajax get and post methods the jQuery get and post methods are used to request data from the server with an HTTP get or post method to do that first of all inside my folder I make a file called page.php to run page on your computer first of all you have to download the ZAMP or MySQL server uh, any other server software you know to make uh, your computer act like a server so in this inside this file because it's a PHP I open close my PHP tag but I make my HTML file here the first thing I have to do is when you want to use the jQuery inside your code you have to import at a CDN so go to Google search for jQuery CDN go to the jQuery website and I select minified copy the link come back to your code and paste it here now we have imported the jQuery inside our code okay wanna use the get method okay I want to use the get method there's two methods get and post the get request data from a specific resource and the post submit data to be processed to a specific resource how you can use the get first I have first thing you have to do is to uh, to use the get method you, you just write dollar dot get this is how you use the get method inside this get you have two parameters the first one is the URL and the second one is a callback function okay this is how you use the get method of jQuery to use the jQuery inside my code I have to open a script tag and close my script tag and here I can write it okay let me create a button when I press this button uh, when I press this button my code should send a get request I make a button click and this is my button I want to use the jQuery inside my script tag I want to select my button button and when I click this button when this button is clicked what I want to do I want to run a function and what this function does this function will send a get request so to use the get a dollar dot get the first thing is the URL get.php this will be the page I want to send the get request to it and the second parameter was was a function okay so function and this function have two parameters the first one is the data and the second one is the status and inside this function once it is done I want alert and say data I want to show up the data and I also wanted to print the the status I use this to make a new line okay and this is the status okay but there's one more thing I have to tell you guys uh, I've started the click I didn't finish I have to finish it let's see where's the problem oh yeah okay this is my code whenever I press this button it runs a function which send a request to the get.php file and once everything is okay it alerts me the data and the status now let's create this git.php file I make another file call it git.php inside this file what I want I can write anything I got the message something simple okay now I wanna run this code and see how it works page and I click you see it's not working the reason is whenever you use Ajax in your code you have to say it is Ajax 
how we can tell the browser this is ajax just dollar document dot ready this is how you use ajax okay and everything will be inside this ready so there's a function and any code which is inside this function which is a part of the jQuery so I copy cut my code and paste it inside inside it now save come back refresh whenever I click this button it should load the data from the another page there you go the data I got the message the state success so by using the jQuery we use the get method to load data from another file this is how we use the get method now let me show you how to use the post method let me create a folder I call it get and I put both of my file inside it now I make another file folder I call it post inside this post I make a file post.php and now I'm going to show you how to use the post method it's actually the same but this time we use dollar dot post and inside this one we have the URL three parameters okay the data and the callback because now we send data okay we, we send data to a resource that's why we have this data let me create the basic HTML5 structure and import my jQuery okay and inside this body tag I write my script tag and I close my script tag and as always I want to use a JIX so how you can do that dollar document dot ready okay document dot ready inside this ready we have a function which everything will be done inside this function okay how can I use the post request I want to create a button and whenever I click the button it should send a request to another file in this case a PHP file okay so I make a button I call it send and I close my button and inside this jQuery I want to select my button button and whenever I click this button whenever my button is clicked I want to run a function a function and what this function does this function will run a post method how we can use it dollar dot post we have three parameters as you remember the first one is the URL I make a page called okay this is a post let's rename this page I call it page and I make another file called post.php and I say post.php this is the file I want to send my request to after that after that I have another parameter which is the data and in this case this is an object I can have multiple things to be sent for example I want to send a name lay and I also want to send another parameter I call it last last name Aslan I want to send this two parameter to my post.php put a comma every time first the URL comma the data comma and now a function callback function this function have two parameter the first one is data and second one is status and when this function runs I want to alert I want to print the data and I want to say this is the data this is the data and I also want to print the status and I want to show the status also okay let me explain this code once more whenever the jQuery this is a jQuery code whenever I click the button this button it sends a post request the 
first parameter is the post the page itself the second is the data and the third is a function a callback function which will alert the data in the status so we want to send this to data the name and the last name this two parameter will be push to the post.php so we have to get them there I go to my post.php and in here I make I have to get those data okay the first one is name I say this is my PHP variable okay so I use dollar dot post because it's a post meter and it comes by a post so what is the first parameter this this one the name I paste it here and the second one is the last name which is also like this a post method and what is it this last name and I paste it here now we can get both of this one I want to echo a message your name is your name is dollar name and your last name is last 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 name okay I want to print this message I want to send this message back to my code that is the data okay let's save both of this code and come to my browser I go to my post page.php where is my button let me check Okay, I put the button inside my script, so I have to put it not inside inside the body, okay, not inside the script, the save, refresh. Now, whenever I click the send button, it should send this data, the name and the last name, Alina Slant, to my post.php, and the PHP file will give me this message, and I have to print back that inside an alert. Let's see how if it works, send, yes. Data, your name is Alay, and your last name is Aslan state success it was easy right we use ajax the jquery ajax to send the, the data by using post method we learned the get and we learned the post okay now what i want to show you is this part is very important now i want to show you how to use the ajax the ajax to send data to the php file but if I explain that in this tutorial, it will be a very long tutorial and I will do that in a second tutorial. Thank you for the watching. Have a great time.